Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 42 in chapter 15. In chapter 15, we have two little waves and the wave function is given there d1 and d2. And then we lead to find the resultant waves, right? In this form to prove it. And then it gives us a hint. This function is as a hint. How can we solve it? We can say d1, d2 is given, and this is hand. So when we want to find the resultant waves, just d1 plus d2. And then we write it as d1, this part, plus d2. And then give us a hand, we use it. You can say the hand is a sine 1 plus a sine 2, right? It's exactly as the sine. This part can consider as a theta 1. This part as a theta 2, agree? And it takes the a out. Now, you can see this part can be write as this equation. So 2 times half of the sine theta 1, theta 2, this part theta 2, times cosine half of the theta 1 minus theta 2. Agree? So in this one, you can make it simplify it. Then it can be simplified as this function. As this function, you can see Cosine this term just fly, it never depend on x or t, so we can take it out. It write as this function. Now the thing is proved. The next one we need to find is the amplitude of this resultant wave. Amplitude of course two a cosine phi over two, no problem, right? And is it the sine wave? Sure, of course, because we have the term sine. This uh, this part, right? So of course this is the Amplitude is this part and it's a pure sine waves. The next one tell you ask you uh show the constructive interface occur occurs if the phi is 0, 2, pi, 4 pi and and this construct this destructive interfaces phi equal to pi 3 pi 5 pi. Of course we just look at the amplitude 2a cosine phi over 2, right? So we, we can come to there, 2a cosine phi over 2. And then if it is the even numbers, you put it inside, we find, yeah, it is just uh, around 2a, right? If it is the odd numbers, you put it, this order phi inside, we find it is just a 0. It becomes destructive interfaces. This is how we solve the problems about the standard wave. The next one tell you if the phi is just a pi over 2, can you find the resultant wave? Sure. So you just input a phi inside. Phi inside. There. See, it looks like this one and it can be simplified as square to a sine px uh, minus omega t plus pi over 4, right? This one you can see the amplitude changes and the phase shift changes. Thank you.